Today we are here with Harshit, who is a senior ML engineer with Quantify, and we are super excited to learn about some of the machine learning solutions built by Quantify. Before we get started, can you tell us a bit more about Quantify? Sure. So we are an AI ML company at our core, and we provide end-to-end -end data as well as ML solutions for our customers. We've been around for over six years, and we have offices in the United States, Canada, and India. We are also a Google Cloud certified partner, and we have been awarded the Google ML Partner of the Year for 2017 and 2018. Awesome. Can you talk more about what it means to be a Google Cloud partner? Sure. So we've been a Google Cloud partner for about four years now, and we have over 325 employees who are Google Cloud certified professionals. So what this partnership means to us is that we are often at the forefront of newest GCP tools and technologies available. We get to be in contact with the product development team to in, in order to provide solutions to our customers. And also we're able to provide feedback back to the product development team so that they can better design newer features. Great. Tell us about QDocs. Sure. So QDocs is an enterprise grade productized document processing solution. So it's designed to handle oppressive workloads of converting documents into usable data. So it uses a combination of traditional OCR and custom deep learning models for handling virtually any template of documents and to convert it into a knowledge base which can be leveraged for any further business uses. We have a ton of features available in QDocs. So for example, entity recognition, key value pairing, digitizing unstructured and structured tables, digitizing charts, graphs, maps, and so on. And also under the hood, we have an active learning pipeline, which ensures continuous improvement of our ML models. So any feedback the user provides helps us in improving our own ML models as well. Can you talk about some of the specific technologies that were used when you were building QDocs? Absolutely. In order to keep our design as scalable and customizable as possible, we used a lot of GCP tools for building our solution. From the start to the end, basically, the user has the option of uploading their documents to Google Cloud via multiple sources like UI or emails or simple drag and drop. Now, all of these documents are stored in Google Cloud Storage as a staging area, which triggers a cloud task, which sends out asynchronous triggers to App Engine for processing these documents. So we use Vision API for converting this image and document into text. And we also have custom ML models which are containerized and stored in App Engine for handling all of the ML tasks. Now the results can be stored in various data storages. So if you want relational database, you can use, for example, BigQuery or Cloud SQL. Or if you want a NoSQL database, you can use Bigtable or Firestore. And if you also want any visualization or business, analytics, you can port these results to any analytics tool of your choice, say Looker or Tableau or Data Studio. What are some of the challenges that you encountered when building QDocs? We designed QDocs with an evolutionary architecture so that it's capable of recognizing any challenges and adapting to it in the future. So some of the challenges we faced were, firstly, we had a data shortage issue. So we realized that if we need to provide high standards of accuracy, we might not be able to cover all templates. So user feedback is very important in that scenario. So we included the active learning pipeline. So anytime a user provides feedback for a particular document, that document becomes a data point, which helps in retraining our models and ensuring that the accuracy level keeps on increasing. Secondly, another challenge which we faced was that Earlier, we had used cloud functions for deploying our ML models, but we found out that our ML models were too computationally heavy and we would often face a timeout issue in cloud functions. So instead, we used App Engine, which integrates well with cloud tasks, and it's also able to scale up endlessly for our ML models as well. Great. Well, Harshit, thank you so much for being here with us today and for sharing more about QDocs. Thank you for having us. If you'd like to learn more about Quantify, you can visit quantify.com. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more episodes of Stack Chat.